Hi, Kevin here from AquaStarCreative.com. In this video, I am going to show you how to project a video onto a building in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so if you plan to follow along with me, I have included a film overlay download link in the description that you can get for free. So in my first layer, I am using an image of a building that I would like to project my video onto. I will go over to my project panel and drag and drop my video clip above that on the timeline. Extend the duration of the building image by hovering over the end of it. Pull this red handle so that it matches the length of our video layer above. Click back onto your video clip layer. To resize it, go to the effects controls panel and adjust the scale to suit your needs. If you click on motion, you can freely reposition your video and place it in your desired location. Go to your effects panel. Search for corner pin. Drag and drop that straight onto your video layer. Now go to your effects controls panel. Click on corner pin. In the preview window, you will now see these four points at each corner of your video clip. If we click and pull any of these, we can easily change the perspective of our asset to match the surface that you would like to place it on. You may need to zoom in and out using this drop down panel to get a better view. Some of the points will end up outside of the preview window just due to the size of the image that I am using. Ok, so I'm happy with that. Make sure that the video layer is currently active and then go to your effects controls panel. Under the opacity options, you will see this blend mode drop down. Select hard light. In my project panel, I have this film green video. As I mentioned earlier in the tutorial, I have enclosed a download link in the description. Drag that straight onto your timeline. Click on that layer to make it active. Then reduce the scale in the effects controls panel. Go to the effects panel. Drag and drop the corner pin effect onto the film green layer. Click on corner pin in the effects controls panel. Like we did earlier, adjust the four pins to match the shape of your video layer. We don't need to be too pedantic, just as long as it is within the original video layer shape. Go to your effects panel, search for invert. Place that on top of your film grain layer. If by chance you're using your own film grain overlay and it happened to be black to start with, you can skip that invert step. With the film grain layer still active, go to your effects controls panel and change the blend mode to screen. Perfect. Obviously that layer is too short, so to extend the length of it, place the playhead at the end of that section. Make sure it is still active, then press Ctrl or Command C to copy it, then press Ctrl or Command V to paste it in. Select the razor tool from your tools panel and cut off the overhanging piece at the end. Press V on your keyboard to activate the selection tool, click on the segment and press delete. Pull the playhead back to the start. Go back to your effects panel, search for roughen edges. Drag and drop that straight onto your video clip layer. Go to the effects controls panel and find the roughen edges options. Increase the border to 50. Then change the fractal influence to 0, which will get rid of the jagged edges. Take the edge sharpness down to around 0 0.20. That will give a nice blurred edging around our video. If you head over to the Lumetary Color panel, if you don't see it, click on these two chevrons here and select it from that menu. Click on the Basic Corrections drop down tab. Feel free to adjust any of these settings here if you would like your video to pop out more. Obviously results will vary depending on your background image and video clip that you are using. Collapse the Creative drop down menu, set Faded Film to 50 and change Sharpen to minus 5. Let's watch that back. Awesome. I'm Kevin from AquastarCreative.com. Thanks for watching.